Hey, everybody, Russ W. Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. As we wrap up uh, tonight with a uh, big win, Warriors go to 4 0, uh, went on the road over Johnny Logan uh, by two. And I want to I want to get this out of the way because, uh, you know, we have to do this and we have to say congratulations to you. That's win number 200 for Indian Hills uh, for, for you and your coaching career. So I want to start with that. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Then why does it sound like you just coached the game, Russ? Jeez. <laughs> uh, no, man, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm sounding good, even in spite of that. But no, uh, no, no, uh, thank yeah. you very much. We've had a lot of special players and special people. And we have, uh, you know, Marlene and Matt and Brett and everybody that I've worked for obviously gives us the resources and, and the opportunity and, uh, and the ability to do our jobs at a high level and get some unbelievable kids. So, um, you know, no, I'm very, always very appreciative to be the head coach in Indian Hills. And, you know, and I guess when you do this long enough, the things add up. But I'll tell you what, that win right there, um, they're all special, but that one right there is a top one. Like that, that I mean, our team in, in seven days has come together as fast as I've ever seen a group come together. We didn't play perfect right there, but, man, we showed some grit and some toughness and some, some stuff that's really hard to get by November 9th. Um, so, man, I couldn't be more unbelievably proud of this win here tonight. John A. Logan's a tremendous basketball team. They're ranked number 13 there. They went to the <clears throat> national tournament last year to come on the road and do this first road game of the year. Very impressive. No, there's no doubt. This was a tough environment. There are a lot of people in here, and I think we had I think we had six behind our bench in the Go Hills TV <laughs> squad. So I think we had nine that wanted us, and it didn't feel like anybody else in the building was hoping that we won the game. So, you know, it, it was funny. Early in the game, like I was, you know, I was obviously it was a very intense game from the start, and I think, you know, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I know Vincennes plays here every year, but, but, but you know, Johnny Logan really, you know, with, you know uh, Tyler's brother Kyle has done, done a great job here the last however many years he was here, and, and, and Tyler's been with him. Now, this is year five. I th you know, he told me before the game, like, this program has become a national program probably in, in that stretch, you know. Um, you know, and, and I think they're really at the point where, I mean, playing at John A. Logan is as big of a game as, as any that we could play on our whole season. Like, this is – we scheduled this game to try to find the most challenging test that we could, and I thought they played very well. They have very talented players. Um, we came in here to win, you know, and, 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 I, and I think that, you know, it's – uh, that's the point. That's 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 the goal, you know. And 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 they've done a lot of winning here, and they came here to win too. So, um, you know, I think that this was a very intense game. I mean, their their crowd was unbelievable. Uh, you know, we had to, we had a. I thought we got off to a great start, and then we hit a stretch in the first half where nothing was going our way, and we had to show some toughness to get back in front. And and it's hard early in the season to show that togetherness and that toughness. So. Again, I, I'm just, I mean, this is, I, I couldn't be more proud of the guys. I mean, they, shoot, it's, you know, I know it, it's, everybody's been contributing to our success this year. This, I think this, you know, this group, like I said, in seven or eight days, they've come together as fast as any group I've had. And, you know, now we got to <laughs> learn how to handle success. We got to, we got to make sure that we continue to keep this thing going and have another, uh, a huge game on Friday. Did a nice job <clears throat> defensively on Stafford in the second half. He had a big first half against you. You kept him under control in the second half. And then you got big second halves out of Colombe and Ryan Myers. Yeah, I thought Ryan, you know, Ryan, I'll throw Ladue Lacou in there too. And obviously, I just told Ladue, I've never seen a 6'10, 6'11 guy in the game with a powerful tick like that. I mean, I, I'll tell the guys, for good or bad, every time I see something I've never seen before, it stands out. And I mean, that was, I just decided to let the guys play through that with one timeout to go. I, I just wanted to let us push the ball. And so I'm going to throw Ladue in there too because Ladue protected the rim. He was blocking shots. He was rebounding the ball. Um, that was probably the best game of his college career, I would think. You know, he was a huge part of our win. Ryan got us off to a great start being more aggressive scoring. We play Ryan at the point, but he is a very good shooter and scorer. And obviously, <laughs> I know Enoch wanted to win so bad tonight, and he came out a little too juiced up, um, <laughs> you know, committing two fouls in his first minute on the floor. So, um, But at the same time, I mean, all of a sudden you have him fully rested and you know I think he played just about most of that second half and and I thought Enoch uh, I thought Enoch played like the best player in junior college tonight and, and it will be pretty good if he can do that well no time really to rest much you're gonna go IMO challenge uh, Friday and Saturday two more uh, good basketball teams uh, you're gonna find out a lot about your guys by the time this weekend's over no doubt you know three rivers has played these guys to a double overtime game um, they had a little bit of a slip up earlier this week so they'll be They'll be ready to go and, and all worked up and angry, I'm sure. Um, it'll be obviously they can get their season right back on track with a win. So, um, you know, it, it's I've never been to Poplar Bluff in my life, so it, it's a historic it's a historic place. <laughs> um, obviously, Coach Be Gene Best is the, is the all-time winningest coach in junior college, and they have a brand-new arena. So I'm sure that place will be uh, just as antsy to get a shot at the old Warriors. So, um, <laughs> you know, we're looking forward to Friday. All right, Coach, congratulations on the 200th win. Uh, all right, got to – you're going to play that at the end. All right. Fantastic. Coach Hank, you guys are going on down tonight, right? 
Down to no, we're, we're going we're to stay here tonight, okay. and we're going to travel down there tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah, we'll stay right. up here tonight, and um, and then we'll, uh, tomorrow we'll hit. We've got a couple of different gyms we're going to practice. And by practice, I mean just get on our feet, get on our feet and shoot around a little bit. These guys these guys have earned. You know, we'll do some mental stuff. We'll get some, do some preparation, but – you know, it's, uh, you know, we knew this five-day road trip we are going to learn about ourselves, and so far, so good. All right, thanks, Coach. Congratulations on the 200th win. That's going to do it for us uh, here at uh, John A. Logan. The Warriors win at 71-69, go to 4-0 on the year for the entire Go Hills crew. Uh, we're powered by JBS. Thanks for watching, everybody.